write a presence uh, if you have come if you arrived there. So I hope you have uh, gone through the entire previous session clearly. Right in the previous all the videos, uh, these are the concluding parts now, right? And then I'm going to take your assessment definitely. So it has been too long now. I think our uh, twelve lectures on this chapter has been gone so far. Uh, after this chapter gets over, uh, so there are uh, two or three more concluding parts are still remaining, right? Uh, so as soon as this chapter gets over, so today and tomorrow it will get over uh, mostly. Uh, afterwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an assessment, right, in the coming days. So the three days uh, that definitely you have to look at the lectures first. And after this three days, right, what will happen is uh, you are going to... Uh, appear for the assessment. So multiple types of assessment will be there. So let me find it out. Uh, what is the most feasible way? Because there are sums also. And definitely you do sums. There are a lot of sums. Uh, let me tell you one thing. There are around about 80 illustrations, right, in this chapter. And there are more than 120 sums. So if you uh, refer to uh, any of the book, Sandeep Garg, uh, I just want you to raise the hand. Who, who do have a Sandeep Garg book? with uh, themselves just raise your hand okay very few students fine uh, i'm going to provide uh put your hands down i'm going to uh, provide uh some of the books that in pdf format definitely and uh most of the sums that i'm going to give you the idea to do at home right so this is the way we uh, will go simultaneously. Uh, so the three days, uh, this three days, that is Sunday, uh, I mean Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm going to make you study, right? And uh, after Wednesday, that is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that you have four days for completion of your assignment, right? So definitely, I am going to give you assignment for that matter. Fine. Uh, any doubts in the previous uh, session? Anyone has any doubt? Otherwise, I'm, I can start with the session. Any doubts? Raise your hand if you have any doubts. I hope you've gone through all the things. Uh, this uh, chapter is very crucial to understand because in the examination, uh, let me tell you, there are about uh, 12 to 18 marks uh, of the questions will be asked from this chapter. Right? So it depends. At times, uh, there are six marker sums are there. Right? There may be a six marker questions are there, direct questions are there. Right, and um, from this chapter, mostly sums always are uh, will be asked one, three, four marker or six marker sum. Right, one sum is definitely there. So, six marks to so minimum weightage, so you chapter ka hai hai, right? You don't have to worry about it. So, out of 80 marks, let me tell you, after a few 80 marks, 40 marks consist of ID and Indian economic development, and the other 40 marks consist of this macroeconomics. Even in this 40 marks, the six marks weightage. I can say is of uh, macroeconomics, uh, this chapter, second chapter. So it may increase to 12 marks also. So uh, I want to make sure that you do it properly, right? And I've seen some papers where it has raised to 18 marks. So out of 40 marks, your 18 marks is this only. So only 22 marks of the remaining chapter. So definitely, uh, but let me tell you, this is very frank that the six mark question will be asked from this chapter anyhow. Right, a sum will be asked. Fine. Uh, 
can anyone tell me uh, the formula of the exponential method now very clearly right uh, i want himanshu to answer himanshu so private or personal final consumption expenditure okay plus government final consumption expenditure okay plus gross domestic capital formation plus net okay. exports so we'll get gdp at mp okay now what is this gross domestic capital formation you know, what are components of investments that? okay so which are uh, gross domestic gross domestic fixed capital formation okay. and inventory investment and inventory investment okay what is fixed capital uh, okay formation includes the three things yes gross resident investment gross public investment and gross business investment uh yes public means government investment no, business investment yes. and the investment on residential construction right it cannot say as a gross uh, resident investment it's a construction only right when yes. we talk about uh any investment in the uh, what i mean to say in a resident area or the household area fine uh shall we start uh today's lecture right so i'm going to start with a good quote Now, those who have not marked the present in there, please mark it. Right. Fine. So let's understand the today's quote before start of the lecture. No bird soars too high if he soars with his own wings. William Blake. कोई भी bird हवा में ऊंची उड़ान नहीं भर सकता अगर वो अपनी ही wing की बदौलत करता है. is it only the wings that makes a bird so to move so high what do you think no it is not only the wind it is the wind also wind means air it is the atmospheric conditions also it's not a wings only it's a wind also so definitely it the bird will be supported not by his only wings it is always supported by the nature the things around her. and definitely we as a human beings are also supported by the many things around us if we think that we ourselves can do a lot of uh feasible things in the life it is not going to happen that way we have to rely on some other other way so no bird rely on his own wings all the time it has to rely on many other things as well similarly as a human being we also need to rely on many other things as well interdependence is the key to success it is not a always a independence right we need to remain interdependent also at times let's start today we are going to learn about preconceptions involved in calculation of ni national income by expenditure method today we are going to learn what are the things that you have to take care of before uh you start your calculation of your national income with the expenditure method so, the, so some precautions are there number one we are always going to consider a final expenditure right now what the final expenditure is it is to be included to avoid double counting right that means final expenditure means expenditure by a private sector by the government sector or by anyone right final expenditure is expenditure on consumption and investment these are the uh, expenditure which are incurred on consumption goods or you can buy anything from a mall or a shop or that is a private one and even in the private as a business also so business uh i've told you business consumption expenditure maybe on employees maybe on uh electricity bills or something like that right so and definitely they uh, that that maybe on investment also so final expenditure when we talk about it is it includes both the things is the final consumption also and capital formation also right it's all final what i'm talking about next intermediate expenditure now what is intermediate expenditure the expenditure on raw materials right intermediate expenditure like on raw materials etc is not included in the calculation of national income right so if you are going to make a car right and let's say if i am going to purchase a car so my uh, purchasing of a car uh, is an expenditure for me right a kind of a investment expenditure for me let's say you can say that right so this will be included in the national income but let's say if i am going to buy any of the parts of those car right uh, that is that is have been observable in here if i am going to buy any parts of a car it is not going to include in the 
So all these are the raw materials. So definitely if I'm going to make a car, let's say, right? And I'm spending on like wheel, bonnet, machines or something like that. Those are the intermediate expenditure and such intermediate expenditure should not be part of national income by expenditure method, especially by expenditure method, right? You don't confuse this thing with the value address. See, everything, every method is different in itself. Let me tell you this very frankly. Next. Expenditure on second-hand goods. So definitely you are going to buy a second-hand house or a second-hand car or something like that, right? So the expenditure on second-hand goods is not included as they have already been included when they were purchased originally, right? So the first expenditure when uh, they have done, right? It has already been included in the national income. So if this will be included, then what will happen? It will raise to the problem of double counting. And we don't want the problem of double counting to happen, right? This is the reason. This is also one of the reasons the expenditure second and goods shall not be included, right? In the national income. Shall we move? Right. Expenditure on shares and bonds. You know, all the shares and bonds when anyone is purchasing, that, that doesn't arise into any productive activity, number one, right? It is just a transfer of money from one hand to another hand in exchange of a piece of paper. And when this happens, do you think you are going to count international income? No, because no, no productivity is happening at all, right? So expenditure on shares and bond is not included because buying financial asset is not a production activity, right? Also because the financial assets are neither goods nor services. So there are two reasons. Like the productive activity be nahi hai. और दूसरा रीजन ये भी जान लेना जरूरी है कि वो ना ही वो गुड्स है और ना ही वो सर्विसेज है सो अगर गुड्स और सर्विसेज की अगर हम बात करें राइट और उसका कुछ प्रोडक्शन करे और उस पर कुछ एक्सपेंड करे तो मैं बोल सकता हूं ओके फाइन पर यहां पे ये दोनों ही नहीं है नेक्स्ट ग्रॉस इन्वेस्टमेंट सो एनी इन्वेस्टमेंट यू आर गोइंग टू मेक राइट ऑन बिल्डिंग और ऑन मशीनरी but without charging any depreciation that is what we call gross investment so gross investment is included in total expenditure because it is still a part of expenditure the net effect that you are going to get it because see by this matter what we are going to get is we are going to get is gdp at mp agar aapko yaad hoga to unko kya milta hai gdp so we talk about gross only and that's definitely gross investment agar ab baat kar rahe ho to include hoga hi right नेट तो हम बाद में करेंगे उसका राइट ग्रॉस इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्लूड्स रिप्लेसमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट राइट एंड नेट इन्वेस्टमेंट उसका मतलब कि उसका रिप्लेसमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट डेप्रिशन जो आप चार्ज कर रहे हो वो और उसका नेट इन्वेस्टमेंट दोनों ही उसके अंदर इंक्लूड हो जाता है राइट अगर उसमें से अगर आप डेप्रिशन माइनस करोगे तो आपको नेट इन्वेस्टमेंट मिलेगा प्रॉपरली होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नेक्स्ट एक्सपेंडिचर on transfer payments if some of the country has given some gift to us or we have given some gift to some another country these are all transfer payments or if any a person has given just by the way of gift right just on a one side payment it is not two sided the things are happening right lend then dono nahi ho raha it is only the one way the process is happening so what what are you going to do about it so such expenditure on transfer payments by government is excluded in total expenditure because transfer payment is a payment against which no services are rendered therefore no production takes place koi bhi tarah ki service rendered nahi ki gayi hai again i am repeating right and therefore main ye bhi bol sakta hu ki production bhi yahan pe hua nahi hai so for an example i have told you the previous examples also for an example the earthquake happened in our country and america will provide us a gift right in terms of uh, amount of dollars or something like that right so do you think a productive activity is happening in the country no we are just getting the money free of cost and if we are getting it free of cost definitely that's a problem a big problem and last the seventh self use or own produce financial products aap khud hi produce kar rahe ho aur khud hi उपयोग में ले रहे हो या अपना ही घर अपने उपयोग में ले रहे हो राइट सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल अ हाउस ओनर यूजिंग द हाउस फॉर सेल्फ ऑल्दो 
एक्सप्लिसिटली ही डिड नॉट इंकर एनी एक्सपेंडिचर देखने आप देखते जाओ तो आपको लगेगा कि कोई भी उस पर खर्चा नहीं हो रहा है राइट बट इम्प्लिसिटली इफ यू लुक इम्प्लिसिटली यानी इम्प्लाइड वे में अगर आप देखो इज मेकिंग अ पेमेंट ऑफ रेंट टू हिमसेल्फ ऐसा माना जा सकता है कि वो अपने आप को ही रेंट दे रहा है अपने आप को ही भाड़ा दे रहा है राइट सो सेल्फ यूज ऑफ ओन प्रोड्यूस्ड फाइनल प्रोडक्ट्स और मे बी अ फार्मर इज वर्किंग इन अ फार्म एंड एट ही और शी इज गोइंग पोटेटोज एंड डेफिनेटली this potatoes he or she is going to consume by themselves then the imputed value of this potatoes ke market mein kya bhav chal raha hai potatoes ka wo value aapko calculate karni padegi right so this is very important right kyunki agar wo nik produce karta to kya karta otherwise he could have buy from the market right since the house is producing a service the imputed value of the service must be included in the national income remember right इम्प्यूटेड वैल्यू का मतलब इम्प्लाइड वैल्यू इम्प्लाइड वैल्यू का मतलब क्या जो मार्केट में चल रही है वो वैल्यू तो अगर फॉर एग्जांपल मैं सूरत में रह रहा हूँ तो सूरत में क्या भाव चल रहा है इम्प्लाइड वैल्यू ऑफ द हाउस का रेंट क्या चल रहा है या फिर सूरत में कोई एरिया में रह रहा हूँ तो उसमें क्या चल रहा है तो उसकी वैल्यू मुझे कैलकुलेट करनी पड़ेगी मे बी मुंबई में वो रेंट ज्यादा होगा राइट उतनी ही जगह का और सूरत में मे बी कम हो सकता है बट वी आर टू कैलकुलेट दैट इम्प्यूटेड वैल्यू ऑफ दोस्ट रेंट इन द नेशनल इनकम मैम बता fine uh, any 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 uh confusion or any doubts in here because i'm going to start the practical problem now after this any doubt please raise your hand okay uh, so everyone is clear i hope so shall i start with the uh, practical problem directly okay so are you ready with your pen and paper right because you have to do something now right i am going to give you some practical problems let's start right so i think we have done three practical problems so far so this will be practical problem 4 calculate using uh expenditure method nnp at mp ndp at mp net domestic income and ni right i'm giving you 5 6 minutes to solve this sum right and once you've done it you just raise your hand yes fagun what did happen fagun Make it quick. Done, Aditi. No, sir, still left. Okay, wait fast.
Okay, yes, Raj. Tell me. Sir, so, uh, uh, NNP at MP three hundred. Hmm. NDP at MP three twenty. Hmm. Net domestic income two sixty and national income five sixty. Uh, Himanshu. Sir, NNP at MP six twenty. Hmm. GDP at MP four sixty. NDP GDP at FC two. So finally, निकलना है GDP तो. Okay. Sorry. NDP at FC two sixty. Hmm. NDP at MP three twenty. Hmm. And NNP at FC five sixty. Hmm. Okay. Uh, all fun here. Just a minute. Pragati, yes, Pragati. Uh, sir, NMP at MP six twenty, NDP at MP three twenty, net domestic income two sixty, and national income five sixty. Okay. Four different answers are there. Let's see then afterwards. Hmm. Mariam, you're done with it. Mariam. Yes, sir. Ah, beta, bolye. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir. Ah, uh, national income is four seventy nine, and no uh, NNP. Ah, hmm. uh, that is. Just a second, sir. Hmm. Are you Rosa Kavya, beta? Yes, sir. Okay, Ramzan is going, right? Yes. 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 Yes.
अगर याद रहे तो मैं सब डेप्रिशिएशन यूज किया है वर्ड मरियम हम ये भी वर्ड यूज कर सकते कर सकते हैं कैपिटल कंजम्पशन तो क्या सोचोगे आप कैपिटल कंजम्पशन का मतलब ही होता है डेप्रिशिएशन हमने पढ़ा है वो याद करो हम याद नहीं आ रहा तो लेक्चर्स को आप देख सकते हो पीछे के फाइन सो दिस इज द वे दैट यू हैव टू लुक इनटू द स्मॉल एंड नेटिग्रिटीज दैट विल मैटर राइट लेट मी गो गिव द सेकंड सम बी रेडी Calculate using expansion method. GDP to FC and GDP to MP, right? And the sum is here. I'm giving other five minutes to complete it. And after that, I'm going to give one more sum, and then uh, we are going to do the reconciliation of the methods. Now, this is the uh, this is your uh, learning that how much you've learned so far. यहाँ पे मुझे reflect हो जाता है बेटा. Make it fast. If you're done with it, then raise your hand. Okay, Yashraj is too fast. Tell me, Yashraj. Yes, Yashraj. Unmute yourself, Yashraj. Yes, Imanju. So GDP at MP nine hundred and GDP at FC eight fifty. Okay, fine. Yes, Raju, you have answer. Yes, Raju, so now tell me what happened. And which was the best, Raju? Yes, yes, Raju. You have raised the hand. Yes, Arshad. Sir, GDP at MP nine hundred and GDP at FC eight fifty. Okay, same answer. Any different answer than this, Aditi? Aditi. Yes, sir. Hmm. Tell me. Hello. Ah uh, yes. So I got the same answer. Eight hundred. Uh, it's nine hundred and eight fifty. MP and FC. Okay. Fine. Gulwani, what you got? Gulwani is doing something. Gulwani, Ayush. Yes, sir. What you got? Sir, G T B at F C nine hundred and uh, I'm little bit confused in M P. What happened in MP? In that Texas only, no. Yeah, he to have five point. Dekho na fifth point. Yeah, confused. Yeah. MP or FC ke bich mein kya difference hota hai? Market price or factor cost ke bich mein? Fine. Let's look at the answer very quickly. GDP to MP क्या है प्राइवेट कंजम्पशन एक्सपेंडिचर गवर्नमेंट परचेज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज प्लस बिजनेस फिक्स इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑन रेसिडेंशियल कंस्ट्रक्शन बाय हाउस होल्ड प्लस इन्वेंट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स इट इक्वल्स टू ऑल दिस एडिशन यू गेट 900 करोड़ एंड इफ यू डिडक्ट यस बेटा 300 म्यूट योरसेल्फ अदिति यू आर स्पीकिंग टू योरसेल्फ देन And if you're deducting 50 crores out of it, you're going to get 850 crores, right? GDP to FC, as simple as that. This is one of the easiest part. Okay, last sum for today. Calculate NNP to FC using expansion method. National income find out. Chal, fatafat. NNP to FC ka matlab national income. I've given it a hint. Chalo.
यस यशराज सर माइट बी टू थ्री वन जीरो माइट बी यू नॉट श्योर अबाउट इट फाइन एनी वन एल्स एव आंसर Yes, Manchu. One seven eight zero. One seven eight zero. Pragati. Sir, NNP at FC one nine eight zero. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Different answers are coming. <laughs> Fine, Mir. Yeah, oh ho oh, ho. Oh. Mir, I. How many times? Ke baad. Mir, yes, Mir. Sir, one seven one zero. One seven one zero. Still different. Zalak, you want to say something? Zalak, yes, Zalak. So uh, 1980. 1980. A little bit similar. Harshal, yes, Harshal. Sir, 2250. 2250. देखना पड़ेगा ये सब के आंसर तो बहुत भयंकर आ रहे हैं. Okay, और कौन है? Okay, yes, Raju. Uh, Maryam, yes, Maryam. Sir, 2480. 2480. Let's see. Let's see that. Oh, see that. Come to that. Two thousand one hundred eighty. Two one eight zero. Drasty. Yes. One eight zero. Yeah, one eight zero. One one eight zero. Ah, one one eight zero. Azaz, agar difference aa raha hai. Nitra. Sir, two one eight zero. Two one eight zero. Kuch answer similar aa raha hai, kuch nahi. Dekhte kya answer aata hai. जीडी पेड एम पी तो पहले आपको देखना है फाइनल कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर प्लस ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक इन्वेस्टमेंट प्लस चेंज इन स्टॉक प्लस नेट एक्सपोर्ट्स दैट इज इक्वल टू 1000 प्लस 500 प्लस 300 माइनस 100 राइट सो दैट इज इक्वल टू 2200 दिस इज जीडीपी आ रहा है आपका अभी एन एन पी एट एफ सी फाइन करने के लिए उसमें से रेपेशन माइनस करना पड़ेगा एन एफ आई करना पड़ेगा और नेट इन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस माइनस करना पड़ेगा अगर हम ये करते हैं तो आपका आंसर आता है 1980, राइट दैट्स अ फाइनल आंसर राइट 1980 इज अ फाइनल आंसर इफ यू हैव डाउट देन यू कैन चेक दिस राइट यस ड्रस्टी ड्रस्टी यू रेज द हैंड Yes, Iman Shubeta. So why change in stock is added? It has to be added, no? But uh, gross domestic investment includes change in stock. Okay, so you have assumed that that gross domestic investment is given, so it's a uh, okay. So uh, okay, I can say that uh, there should be a clarification that gross domestic fixed investment should be there. The word fixed investment should be there, according to you, right? Yes, sir. Okay, we will see to it. That might be the reason. Okay, so okay, then you are also right. You are also correct on that matter, Imanshu, because it's my mistake that I have not put a fixed investment. The word "fixed" has to be there. Okay. Anything else? Any doubts in here? So those who have got uh, what I can say, two one eight zero, right? What you got? One seven eight zero. One seven, okay. One seven eight zero. That's also right answer. So it's a two hundred differences there. Fine, fair enough. So those who have got one seven eight zero, that's also right answer. Apart from one nine eight zero, those have considered as a uh, change in stock, uh, not considered change in stock. I mean, fine. I hope uh, if anyone has a doubt, they can just clarify in here. Make it fast. Or shall I go with the next slide? Fine, fair enough. No one has a doubt. The last part for today's lecture is a reconciliation of these three methods, right? So the three method we have to reconcile in here, right? We need to uh, make sure that the three uh, method that we understand simultaneously: product method, income method, and expenditure method. Right now, product method is a value-added method. The very first thing that we learned is about the income method. We talk about the income of everyone. Compensation of employees, rent, interest, profit, mixed income of self-employed, 
gross depreciation plus then indirect taxes then we got and we are arriving at a gdp to mp so up till mixed income of self employed if you have added right what what you are going to get was right aapko kya milta tha ndp at fc kya milta tha ndp at fc और ये एनडीपी डी एफ सी के ऊपर अगर आप डेप्रिशिएशन और नेट इंडेक्टर सेट करते हो तो आपको जीडीपी डी एम मिलता है राइट सो जीडीपी डी एम आने के लिए यहाँ पे सबसे पहले आपको एनडीपी एफ सी मिलता है उसके बाद आपको जीडीपी डी पी एड एम कर सकते हो इफ यू लुक एट वेल्यूडेड मैथड इन हियर दैट इज वॉट वी कॉल एज अ प्रोडक्ट मैथड ऑल्सो बाई अदर नेम राइट इट इज वॉट हमने देखा था जी से पर यहाँ पे उन्होंने दिया है इवन uh, मैं काफी बुक मैंने रिफर की पर उन्होंने एन से दिया है बट यूजली वी डोंट फाइंड एन वी ए यहाँ पे जो नेट दिखा है ना वो नॉर्मली हम नेट वैल्यू से फाइंड नहीं करते हम क्या करते हैं जीबी ए के एड करते हैं पर यहाँ पे सपोज नेट वैल्यू अगर एड होता भी है तो क्या होगा अगर तीनों तीन नेट वैल्यू एड हो जाएगा तो आपको क्या मिलेगा ये तीनों के बाद एन डी पी या एन वी ए मिलेगा एन वी ए यानी और कुछ नहीं है एन डी पी है तो एड एफ सी मिलेगा राइट यानी सबका मिला के ये ये बराबर नहीं लिखा है उसका मतलब है एन वी एट एफ सी और उसमें वापस अब सेम चीज राइट यहाँ पे जो सिक्स और सेवन पॉइंट है वो यहाँ पे फाइव और सिक्स पॉइंट है वो सेम चीज ऐड करते हैं तो आपको क्या मिलता जी डी पी एट एम पी राइट दिस इज दबकि एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड से अगर हम देखने जाएंगे तो एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड में हम प्राइवेट फाइनेंस कंजप्शन गवर्नमेंट फाइनेंस कंजप्शन ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक और ग्रॉस कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन राइट टॉर्शियर लिखा है यहाँ रॉन्ग लिखा है ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन अगर आप ऐड करोगे ये और प्लस नेट एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज ऐड करोगे चार चीज अगर आप ऐड करोगे तो आपको क्या मिलेगा इन ऑल दिस थ्री केसेस इफ यू सी यू गेट जीडीपी एट एमपी राइट सो बाय दिस थ्री मेथड द आंसर इज गोइंग टू रिमेन द सेम दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज व्हाट आई मीन टू से इन हियर इज राइट यस हर्षल सर इन द एक्सपेंडिचर मेथड व्हाट इज ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक investment that is gross domestic capital formation capital formation is investment domestic domestic means in domestic territory it should always be in domestic territory we are not going to consider any uh, capital formation outside the domestic territory that is why it is gross domestic capital formation the word word it is okay sir right Now, i i think uh, how shall we have learned this when i started the topic of the gross domestic investment or gross domestic capital formation uh, you can go through my uh, previous lectures fine this is the reconciliation so i hope you understand in a little bit clear manner that i have uh, taken in different chart from some uh, another website and this is the uh, this this production method as well as method income method and expenditure method that are reconciled it right this is the same way right where you can find gdp at mp right fine uh, this is for today uh, tomorrow this two topics are left so tomorrow i'm going to conclude the everything and after those conclusion your chapter is not truly over basically right your ch uh, chapter will remain uh, in force uh, for your assignments definitely your assignments are still to be left to be completed and as soon as we complete this chapter let me tell you we are going to complete not two chapters we are going to complete three chapters according to saraswati and four chapters according to gurg himanchu uh, or meer uh, is it the four chapters right in gurg the national income aggregates and all yes sir four chapters four chapters so we are com completing four chapters at once right so you may be baffled and confused right ke sir four chapters khatam ho gaye but i said yes four chapters have been completed now so tomorrow is the last lecture for this four chapters to completed but definitely your part is remaining i want your sums to happen uh, your writing part your book uh, uh, completion number one book completion number two sum completion and number three exercise and also number four assessment of mcq this four chapters are still remaining right and definitely by the next week uh, we are going to start with indian economic development one of the wonderful a uh, history history of economics that we are going to start in in the perspective of india right so it is uh, basically of the indian economy right how and why there are so much poverty and unemployment and many things right so we are going to basically learn the indian economic history in id it is also one of the uh, I, i can say the great chapters uh, to learn 
yes any doubts so far in any of the things you have you can ask me fine uh i'm going to just closing it stay home stay safe take care of yourself right i'm ending the meeting i'm signing off now thank you